So when you talk there about the different styles within a team, yeah. what are the things that you do and use to help shine a light on the different styles within a team? Yeah, I think it's really important to recognise that you've got different characters and different styles. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I start with using is a, is a profiling tool, a behavioural profiling tool called DISC. Okay. So basically there's four quadrants and it stands for dominance, influencer, steady and conscientious. Okay. And you're asked a series of questions and everyone maps somewhere on that, that grid. People sometimes get a bit hung up on the words and, and the meaning that, that they have. Or sometimes they don't like about, you know, don't put me in a box. And it's mm. just not about that at all. If, yeah. if they're thinking that, they've got the wrong end of the stick and I've not explained it well enough. Mm. So when the people are mapped, um, it gives you an idea of how they're going to conduct themselves, how their natural behaviour is, and how their adapted behaviour is. And that's really how they allow themselves to be um, viewed at work. It's, mm. it's how they, they like to come across. So it's a really, really great tool for unlocking individuals and understanding themselves both from a self-development perspective and also when we get into a team environment when you map everyone's profile together it gives you a really clear mm -hmm. idea of where the strengths are with the team and where the gaps might be mm -hmm. now you know that allows us to then start having some discussions around about what would we change you know how would we help certain individuals have mm -hmm. more share of voice and maybe help other individuals maybe pipe down just a little bit 